Hello, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the start of my Squash That series vlogs and in this portion I will be vlogging the two-day qualifying period. If you don't know what Squash That series is, it is a readathon I host periodically. There's no schedule to this, it's really just when I'm available and they range in length. This is the biggest round that we have ever done so this is actually spanning five weeks. So you will be seeing much more of me but for today we are doing the two-day qualifying period which is basically getting each of our players onto our tournament bracket. This is a tournament round. We are doing a 32 person bracket. So the first 32 people to complete the objective of reading both six hours and 500 pages uh, will make it onto the board. So that's what I'm trying to do here while also hosting this readathon. <laughs> so today is Monday, January 1st. Happy New Year. And as I was waking up this morning, I did read, I started into Royal Assassin. I'll let you know the strategy here in a second. I started into Royal Assassin. I do have both of these books that I'm starting on ebook as well. So if I need to, I can read them on my phone. Uh, so I read about 20 pages and 30 minutes of this. That's how far in I am so far. I got up, got the kids, you know, settled with Chris. He is locked in uh, for dad duty for the day so that I can hopefully qualify in one day. I do work tomorrow the second so I'm about 30 minutes in is all so far but I did that and then I went off and got my coffee. Can I get a large campfire mocha with white chocolate? Large hot chocolate Okay. with half milk chocolate half white chocolate. Here you are. Awesome. Here's that campfire for you. Thank you. And thank you. Have, have a good day. You too. Thank you. You'll see in that clip, I got a hot coffee at Caribou, except it was supposed to be hot and it was still like the milk wasn't warm. It was disgusting. And so then I actually left and went and got Starbucks also because my coffee was gross. So not the best start to my day there. Uh, but the other book that I am going to also be starting is The Prince of Broadway by Joanna Shoup. So the strategy here is that anything you start during qualifying, you can actually finish for like full credit in next following weeks. And so I want to get in to Royal Assassin because it's big and chunky and I need to read it this month. So I would like to get, you know, partially into this, but it would take me much longer than six hours to read 500 pages of this dense fantasy. So I'm countering that with something that I read very quickly, which is this historical romance, so that I can catch up on my pages, um, if that makes sense at all. It should. I didn't have any of my audiobook holds come in on time for qualifying. If they do come in the next couple days, I may utilize that, but again, that'll depend on what would come in. I have my Libby holds stacked, so a plethora of things could come in. But right now it is 7.42 a.m. Uh, I have some sprints starting at 9. So right now I'm going to go get in the bath, get another good head start here. My camera does not want to focus on my face and then jump on those sprints and see how everyone else's morning is starting so far. <laughs> Hi, it is much later. It is now 12.43 p.m. Uh, and I just got done with sprints, which were very productive. I am doing much better on my time than my pages. I am over halfway on my time. I'm at three hours and 10 minutes read today, but my pages, I'm only at 166 only. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I'm definitely getting along through it today. It's gonna be pushing it for me to completely finish today, but we'll see. I did get an audiobook available to me, which is nice because I do need to go like be with my family for a little bit now. And so I did get the audiobook of Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. I didn't really enjoy the second book, but I said I would continue because it'll be an easy audiobook to do. So I'm not really anticipating enjoying this one that much, but I might as well start it to get some time and pages under my belt some more today while I go do chores for a little bit. So that's kind of my plan right now. We are almost 13 hours in and nobody has submitted for qualifying yet. So I'm just like itching. I feel like people are getting close, like someone's going to submit soon. So we'll see.
think I broke my tripod so I'm actually holding it but I have made some more progress I did my little bit of cleaning up and family time and then I did get into the bath again it's kind of my thing I got into the bath again and read more specifically of this but um, I obviously made progress in my audiobook as well so I'm hovering like just around 100 pages in everything that I am reading I'm at like 101 in Royal Assassin I'm at like 120 in The Prince of Broadway and I'm at like 80 something in Finlay Donovan the third one whatever it's called jumps the gun <laughs> And so I am like just over 300 pages, so not close to my pages, but I am at about five and a half hours read, so I'm getting really close on my hours. At this point in time, we do have three people who have uh, finished qualifying. What time is it? It's like 3.30 p.m. So right now we have three people who have qualified, um, so I'm excited because people are going to begin getting like paired in their matches. The first two people, I was excited to see them come in but they're not competing directly against each other. So seeing the matchups is fun. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Probably do another little burst of productivity and listening to my audiobook. I still really just want to finish. I have some video editing and other like graphics and stuff I still need to make for the readathon that I would like to do tonight. If I don't get to it, I don't get to it. Um, I do have a whole day tomorrow if I need to, but I would like to read more tomorrow to get a better head start. Martine kind of scolded me because they're like, don't tell everybody the strategies and I'm like I just can't help it I don't want anyone to feel like they didn't know all the information as to how to play but I do understand that like I've given them all the information to come to conclusions about strat strategies themselves but in my mind I am purposely not finishing books during qualifying so that I can finish them in in upcoming weeks uh, but I would like to get as far as I can through a chunky thing so that I am closer to finishing. So if I have time tomorrow, I honestly probably will focus on Royal Assassin. Um, I might today, just to get my pages up, actually read A Magic Tree House. I do need to read six of them this month before the Magic Tree House read-along discussion happens because we combined two months. This is the first time we've done that, but we uh, postponed a live show to do two months together. So we're reading six. So I can work those in however I want, but I do think it could be a decent strategy for me to do one today just to really get those pages up because at this point because we're in the Merlin missions they're all like a hundred plus pages so that could give me a quick easy boost so maybe that's just strategy maybe I should go do stuff listening to my audiobook to like get to 400 pages and then listen to I'll, I'll confirm that the next magic tree house is over 100 pages but then read that magic tree house and then I'll probably be done okay hi hello I literally just finished for my qualifying and so I haven't looked back at the spreadsheet yet but I think I'll be 10th unless like somebody has sub submitted since I last looked I think I am the 10th qualifier I'll confirm that tomorrow basically I got three hours read in the audiobook of Finlay Donovan so I'm actually at like seven and a half hours but I just hit 500 pages so my hours to pages were Obviously, I finished hours faster, but I am 56% into Finlay Donovan. I am, I don't remember how far, into The Prince of Broadway. Still 119 pages into The Prince of Broadway. I am 101 pages into Royal Assassin, and I did read A Crazy Day with Cobras, the Magic Treehouse book, which, to be honest, that might be my favorite Magic Treehouse yet. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that because the discussion won't be for a little while, but I really enjoyed that Magic Tree House. There were a lot of funny moments in that one. And so yeah, I'm happy to personally be done with qualifying, but there is a whole nother day tomorrow, so I'll keep you updated how that is going tomorrow. I'm excited tonight um, because I'm going to announce now that there will have been 10 people qualified. So that'll be fun for tonight, and then tomorrow we get to see the rest of the board get full. So I'll keep you up to date tomorrow. I do work, so I'll check in. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, January 2nd. By now you know that I had some devastating news um, because I am obviously in charge of the spreadsheet that is generating how people will be uh, paired up together. I found out once I submitted, she submitted after me, but that I'm going to be paired against Martine in week one. So I'm a little scared. Uh, I keep saying that this 
is the week to do it if you're going to because uh, they actually are on vacation this week so I'm hoping that next week and the next vlog that I'll be able to pull out that win but at least it will be fun to have like one of my best friends to be a cheerleader for going into the following week if I get out of my own readathon week one. <laughs> Uh, so I was the ninth person to qualify because on a spreadsheet like it starts on line two I'm line 10 but I'm the ninth person to finish and so yeah I'm headed off to work I'm excited because it's a new year so a new planner uh, and so I'm excited to scribble in that today I do have a video going live uh, today Tuesday at 10 so when I get to work I'm gonna make my thumbnail uh, but yeah headed there I think like half of our employees called in today so it's not gonna be my best day ever It's the next day. I'm guessing you can hear my heater, but I'm not gonna shut it off, it's cold. Um, but it is the next day, so qualifying is officially over. Uh, yesterday evening after work, I ended up having a <laughs> kind of a crazy evening because I have filmed these seven very short um, instruction videos explaining the game for each week but as we don't know what the game's going to be I didn't know which one I would need uh, to be able to post for everyone to know how they're going to play the game for this upcoming week so I had to edit seven little quick videos last night so I got home edited those videos and then it was time for the live show where I revealed the uh, bracket and then quite frankly after that I was burnt out we did find out that next week for week one uh, we will be playing the 24 and 48 version which means I just need to be reading as many hours as possible and which also meant there was really no more prep that I could do so I was just like burnt out went to bed <laughs> So Wednesdays, which are today, today was a Wednesday, is kind of on the back end here, our prep day. So I didn't start my week one vlog yet, but that will be happening tomorrow morning. So I'm excited to get started. I did get started with some reading uh, today, but I will keep that to myself and you'll have to stay tuned for next week's vlog. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you again very soon. Bye.